I'm going to go up and copy this scatter plot part. Predict, we'll do the model interval equals prediction. Save this in P. I'm going to add one more line where I will create my own data. And this data will be a combination of roller data and the values stored in P. Remember P has fit values, lower and upper prediction intervals. I want to combine columns. So the way you do is a C bind, column bind. So first we'll put roller and then we'll put P and hit run. If you want to look at STR data in your console area, you'll see that apart from weight and depression, now you have fit, lower and upper values. Instead of roller, this becomes data. And I'm going to add a few things. If I just run this part, so you have seen, this is the plot we had. These are confidence intervals automatically from ggplot, but I can also include the prediction intervals by using geom underscore line, where we can say aesthetics y and lwr for lower and upper is upr. We can also say color, we can make it red. Line type, we can say dash. So you see, it adds the lower. And if I do the same thing, plus copy this, and instead of lower, if you do upper, you can add prediction lines on the same plot. If you want to make these lines thicker for whatever reason, you can add line width, WD, LWD, let's say two times, it makes it thicker. So obviously it doesn't look good if you ignore the other one. Let's say we call it new model, model one. Again, linear model, depression as a function of weight plus, and the way we include quadratic term is I within parenthesis, weight square. And then obviously we have to put comma and mention what is our data, data is roller. So if you run that and do summary, summary of that model one, you can see the square term gets added. It is not statistically significant. It doesn't help, but this shows you how you can do that. Mm -hmm.